boom hey guys how you doing oh man you know what i just realized my camera's not right so let me just straighten that out right now there we go oh Oof. yes this is my live stream for today good morning good evening good afternoon wherever you are whenever you are thank you for watching my videos actually and and stay coming here because I, I've just realized that, you know, it's for, at this time, right now, most people are actually buying their iPhone. <laughs> their iPhone 14s. So, uh, yeah, you guys are the true diehards who uh, are not right now um, waiting, waiting with their fingers on the trigger to uh, buy the iPhone 14s. Uh, yeah, already. So, how many people here are going to get one? I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that are going to buy one. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not to start off with the question. I noticed there's a question in there for, uh, do you got any advice for a 17 year old with 21K, please? He asked, let's see, who is it? Uh, Darby Lane is the person who asked this question. And I want to answer that question before I continue with today's live stream. Which, uh, we're going to take a look at some of the charts. We're going to take a look at, um, actually, me how i um my trades and stuff like that and you know what i just realized i did not log in did i did i log in did i log in yes i did it is logged in look at that so that's cool that's cool we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that trade right now well before that before i do that i'm gonna talk about what you should do if you're like a young kid um i know you know what it's gonna be very very difficult for you to do this so much more uh because Patience, um, when you're younger, is really difficult to have. Um, for me, as I'm older and I'm going to be turning 50, right now time just just goes by like rapidly, and just there's not enough time in a day. Whilst when you're young, there seems to be time forever. <laughs> I remember that. It was like I don't know what to do next <laughs> when I was younger. Uh, today I'm just like, oh man, I, I wish I don't have to do all these things that I have to do. Right, right now. So it's like uh, I wake up and I'm, I'm go, go, go from the beginning to end. Now, so that means time travels a lot faster for me and it's a lot slower for you. So it hurts a little bit more. So with that said, right, that's why it's going to be harder for you to do my advice because you're going to be getting a lot of uh, flack for this for a long time until you're like, oh, OK, well, I'm the winner and it won't take long, but still. Uh, and so my idea, my suggestion to you is to basically go all in on uh, Bitcoin. If you're assuming, this is assuming that you're willing to wait five years, right? Go all in on Bitcoin or Ethereum, right? And um, Ethereum will give you more upside than Bitcoin over the long, over the over the next uh, uh, five years. Whilst Bitcoin will give you more security, because whilst uh, Bitcoin, the odds of Bitcoin having a problem is the same as you know uh, an asteroid, planet killing asteroid hitting the planet. Um, the 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 odds of uh, Ethereum having a problem is slightly higher than that because it's of its centralized nature. Uh, that it's and it's being becoming more centralized, but effectively it didn't matter because it's still centralized as it is with the nodes being, even though the nodes are everywhere, uh, and then they're going to go down to twenty one nodes. Um, it's not a problem because you know uh, people were upgrading their nodes and changing their nodes, so effectively. Um, they could change whatever pro is going on in the protocol, whether the number of, uh, uh, of Ethereum there is, they could change who has what at any point in time. Um, and, and they wouldn't do that, but I mean, they can, right? Uh, <laughs> like, so that's the key thing, right? Um, well, with Bitcoin, that can't happen. This just can't, there isn't, there's no force on earth right now as it exists that can change whether or not you have the bitcoins that you do have right um with ethereum there is uh the governments can put enough pressure on a very select group of people to make changes so 
you have to be aware of that risk when you're dealing with Ethereum. And uh, that's the difference between Ethereum and Bitcoin. Now, that the reason now, once again, the reason why it's going to be hard to hold down to that fund for the next five years is that there's going to be ups and downs. It's just, just the way it is. There's going to be less of that if you buy here. <laughs> <laughs> right? You probably within a year, right? For less than a year for Ethereum, you won't even you won't bother. You won't it won't be bothering you unless, you know, you feel that you're taking a loss every time, you know, price swings from one way to another, uh even though you've been uh, you're in a profit, right? Majorly in a year from now. Um with Ethereum, but Bitcoin, you could see prices actually come back here uh a few times before we see before you see any kind of um, uh, a profit. So yeah, that's a possibility for a higher prob probability for Bitcoin. But anyways, with all that said, uh, I think we're gonna move on to the charts because uh, I think you guys are dying for that. And, and uh, let's just see here. I'm gonna uh, go through the, um, the, uh, how, the, what's it called, the chat room. But I want you guys to head over to the public chat, right? And, a and ha ask me questions there. Right, there's not a lot going in the public chat. Links in the description below. It's a Telegram chat, so if you head over there and you um, you leave your question there, that would be uh, great. And don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. And yeah, so let's go on with the, the with the trading for today. Okay, um, let's go on to charts. So yes, as you can see. Um, let me just take out. Let me take out all these this this n nonsense. I can't believe I, I left this up. Um, not not relevant. Not relevant. Not relevant. Okay, so there's a lot to see here, right? For those who are new to trading, um, I can uh, I'm going to explain some of this because I haven't done that in a while. These are Bollinger bands. They're they're basically uh, the the percent. These are uh, calculation of a percentage between the mean. So basically, um, price action stays within inside the band uh, about 95% of the time and only 5% uh, of the time outside the band um, well, on, on an average scaling of, uh, of this, uh, of, of long-term price action, basically. So effectively, right, you can see that things have gone expanded. When the bands are going shorter and tighter, that means the market's winding up for something. It means that something's going to happen. It doesn't tell you which direction it's going to go. It just means that something's about to happen. Um, and then there's an explosive move in one way or the other. You can see there was an explosive move here. And sometimes it can be, you know, reversal, right? It could say, oh, yeah, we're exploding higher. And then, yeah, it just screws you over, right? So be careful with that. Um, this is not absolute. This is just information uh, information purposes. I have the yellow line, which is the 13 EMA, which I love to, to uh, use because you can see whether the market's in a bullish bullish mode or a bearish one, right? Uh, because if it's below the 13 EMA, it stays there for some time. And then once it breaks above, right? Uh, and it stays, breaks above for a while, it stays for a while. Um, what I also notice is that if it breaks above and set, hugs the 13 EMA and pumps, Yes, that's that's a positive sign, basically. So when it hugs at the thirteen and pumps, it means you've got something. You got a really big run, or the opposite direction, right? So it hugs the, the thirteen man below, and then it runs down, down. It can run even further. Okay. Um, all right. So with that said, um, this is the average between the two Bollinger, Bollinger band, the blue line. And if we zoom out, I think I have. Also, another average, which I could have swore it was here, and it's not there because I think I took it off. Uh, the 200 day moving, 200 period moving average, which is not here. So, oh well, I'll put it on sometime afterwards. So, yes, that said, let's move on to um, what the price action is. Bitcoin has taken off majorly, and I've gotten a trade. Now, remember, I was telling you guys that, you know, I'm going to be buying. Um, all the way down below the to the the, the 19.5 down um, in many videos as I, as I was saying I was saying that you know what we're gonna see a, a pump a dump before the pump right and here we are 
and so yeah um, this this Bitcoin has uh, has risen uh, you can see I'm very moved my stop loss right way up here because uh, I want to take profits walk away with uh, with the profits and I have a profit objective around 21.5 as you can see on this chart here so yeah that's uh, going to be a decent uh, trade right now I'm 94 uh, percent in profit so there it is with a three hundred thousand dollar trade okay uh, let's let's uh, go uh, and take a look at what we can do if you wanted to trade this right now right now there's absolutely nothing you can do actually if you're looking at this at the shorter time frame you have to sit on your hands honestly if you try to trade this you could get burned right this is why I moved my th stop loss to uh, the to uh, to take profits, um, I'm, I'm going to walk away with 1.1 bitcoins on that profit objective. Um, but it's, it's, it could go higher. But we have to wait and see. You have to wait for the market to give you some sort of signal, and there is none here. If you take a look at the, if we take a look at the indicators here, you can see the momentum is died off on on this pump, this last pump here. So you don't have a hope and a prayer. Um, I mean, there's there's still a possibility that it goes higher. It just it's unlikely. It's lower. It's uh, the probability that we come and retest the lows, retest the lows down here, which is the um, the twenty two twenty thousand five hundred ish areas um, is 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 likely, right? I mean, the midterm lows, short term lows, and that is <laughs> really short term lows. So it's likely more likely than us going higher right now. So um, that is that is the, the, the case. Now, don't that doesn't mean it can't continue going higher. It doesn't mean that, right? It's just the probability that we actually start to break down again uh, from here. I mean, not break down, but at least come back to to the the bottom of this level here, which is approximately yeah around the. Yeah, around the, um, I'd say this low right here is where they're probably gonna take us out, right? Around the, the 2,500, 2,500-ish 20, area um, is likely. So if you wanna take some risks on um, buying down here, you could, you could, because there's a lot, of, if we take a look at the momentum of this this move, you can see that there is a lot of um, uh, momentum here and it is it, it has reopened up the Bollinger Band upwards. So we could see, a massive massive move higher um, looking at the daily you can see that we can hand up all the way to this top of the Bollinger Band very quickly we've um, we've reversed heavily above the 13 MA finally here and there's a lot of uh, momentum here so this even this daily candle could 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 effectively uh, come to whoops uh, to that um, area so yeah, uh, let me just close that application and then uh, we can uh, continue. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna close uh, the WhatsApp because you can hear it going off in the background. So there we go. And uh, let's head back. Let's see if there's anybody joining the group here. There's a few people here. Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, is there any questions here? Make sure you join the group. Uh, I want to see some questions in here already, and let's see. Let's let's see um, how many people are watching right now. Yes, uh, there is 260 people actually watching. Um, 275 watching right now, and uh, thank you very much. Make sure you hit the like, right? I want to get this thing up to like 200 likes right now. Uh, get it up to 200 likes, right? And uh, yeah, we'll get to some questions up here and uh, join us in we'll get the answer to questions um in the the chat group um later on okay let's uh take a look at some of the cool indicators that we have here let's start off with rock and brainer rock and brainer on a daily has has turned positive obviously right um but i don't like how this has got the manipulation mark below here that means this could mean that this pump could uh, roll over um, and uh, come back and retest the bottoms, but I don't think so. I really don't think so. We have 
we're rolling into September 15th, which happens to be my birthday and also the day that Debbie Tar, right? Let's give Debbie Tar will be uh, launched for a minting for a public mint. So make sure you, um, uh, you know, follow me on Instagram, right? Or, t or TikTok or, or, t or uh, Twitter, right? I'm on Twitter as well. And you can um, find out the latest information about Debbie Tar on those uh, social media platforms. Okay, let's take a look back here and then let's go down to the lower time frames let's go down to the four hour time frame and yes you can see the buy down here it was clear right uh clear as day right approximately around 19 19,000 that hey this was this was taken off i knew it from from right down here when it was when it was coming down that i knew that this was this was your buying opportunity of the lifetime i think um for the long term you should have been buying here um, for if you're a long-term buyer, right? You missed it. And uh, will you get an op another opportunity? Well, let's take a look at the daily. Um, the odds are no. You're not going to get another opportunity down there. Assuming we don't roll over, um, this X is, is false. You're not going to get an opportunity down here. Uh, again, that that will you probably get close to it, maybe 20k or something like that just above here, something like that, but that's about it. So this would be a time to start dollar cost averaging uh, for those people who are long-term holders because um, we could be at uh, near a bottom here. Now, I have to put a caveat to that, right? Unless, if the stock market jumps, if the stock market goes um, absolutely ballistic, we'll see, um, uh, a bit, like goes like goes uh, lock limit down. Sorry, if Bitcoin, if the stock market goes lock limit down, we could see Bitcoin follow it down below the 17.5k, uh, 17.5k level. So that is a possibility. Alrighty. So uh, on the hourly, let's see here. Uh, yes, it's still um, positive here. Um, Bitcoin has pumped heavily it was really difficult to to take this uh, trade because you know you don't take any of the, all of these there's no indicator that gives you 100% um, uh, right signals right um, for example um, right, my dabble if I were to take that off and put on dabble there's a uh, very you see how this was up and then this one down well this one was a potential so that didn't count but yeah these dabbles right these ones work this one kind of worked with these ones, yes, right? There's uh, and this one didn't, right? So yeah, um, no signal, no indicator um, can give you, uh, you know, a, a definite um, uh, indication that hey, you're going to uh, see uh, a profit if you follow the indicator. You have to base it on other um, other pieces of information to help you best make a trade. All right. So, but if you're interested in the Rock and Brainer, you can get the Rock and Brainer uh, by heading over to payments.rockandbrainer.io. And if you want to trade this, right, you can obviously trade at bybit.info. Bybit. Just by typing in by bybit.davincij15.com, and you can uh, trade there um, and get a bonus, right, of four thousand five hundred. Uh, dollars deposit bonus for trading at uh, Bybit. So yeah, make sure you do that. Okay. Ethereum. Wow. Well, it's um, it's back up to its resistance level. I knew it was going to come back up here, just a matter of time, and it was going to hold that resistance. And that was beautiful when it pumped off of the the, the support here. Uh, then there was like resistance is coming to hit. So if we could break above this 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 killer resistance, right? It's now clear where this resistance is, right at the seventeen sixteen seventeen sixteen dollar mark. Seventeen oh, so one thousand seven hundred and sixteen dollar mark. If we continue higher and break above that, you can see a th Ethereum maybe head up to uh, the 23k level um, ish just above this 
these resistance marks as a possibility. But let's take a look at, at I want to take a look at some um, possible uh, scenarios for uh, Ethereum on the longer time frame here. So, ooh, look at that. This is a possibility. And A, B equals C, D here because we have definitely bottomed. And we clone that. So uh, copy, clone. And then we create an A, B equals C, D, which, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, so it makes it makes sense, right? We can head up all the way up here at the 25, uh, 2600 to uh, 2000, approximately $2,560 level ish area. So there's a lot of um, resistance up here, and there's a lot of magnet of price to this level um, to retest this level once again in, um, in our near future. So I'm, I'm, I'm skeptical that we can make it all the way up there for the um, for this this current Ethereum uh, uh, what's it called merge and triple the happening but I wouldn't be surprised if we came up to like to just above the last previous um, high broke above it broke above the 200 period stopped at the 200 period moving I was rolled over so let's just draw that out for you guys uh, right here come up to the 200 period moving average rolled over and then did that um, that would be the most likely scenario that I see happening uh, for Ethereum where we roll back um, after the 15th uh, top out here and then we come back maybe we come back all the way to to, to, the, to the previous um, uh, resistance which will turn into support and then continue higher so that's that's either down here or or just a little bit down and then up so that's that's just, that's the, the um, projection I see for ethereum ethereum yes so be mindful of that but de definitely we're gonna probably roll over nice the the the, the, the highest probability is that we're going to roll over on September 15th and see that uh, because the reason why is because you know you, you buy you buy on rumor sell on fact or news because there's nothing going to be majorly changed on the Ethereum network on this upgrade uh, until developers start making the changes and start using it so that's the way it is okay uh ready then let's uh head over to ask some questions let's take a look at the the likes oh look at that we're at, at uh 127 likes so let's get the likes up to 200 so come on guys hit the like button i really appreciate it thank you for for watching and yeah let's let's get the likes up there um all right thanks up everyone for joining and let's see here what questions do you guys have um is it true we will get an ETH air airdrop from the from the merge? Um, I've not heard of that, um, so I don't know. <laughs> um, it's possible, but I I don't think so. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Honestly, uh, that's the, that's the thing. Okay, I think I'm going to wait until the merge to sell. More people might buy because of the possible airdrop. Uh, people will buy if there is an airdrop. The second that airdrop occurs, prices will drop. So um, that would be crazy. <laughs> so, so yeah, that that would pretty much bake the uh, the drop price drop into the cake, if that's the case. All right. So, um, right. Wow. So we got another. 47 likes already. So before I continue with the get on to your questions, right? I want to remind you that once again, debitar.com, we're going to be uh, releasing my NFT collection, which is a very extremely limited edition of my uh, NFTs, my first NFT collection. And yes, 
uh, there's only going to be 915 of them and 15 of them will be rare NFTs that you can collect. And yeah, they have all different stories and interesting characteristics to them. Uh, so make sure you get your NFT. Also, uh, you'll be able to have access because uh, access to me because one of these NFTs will have access to my personal phone number, right? My, my actual personal number. Right? You'll be awarded that as well. So uh, definitely worthwhile uh, getting my NFT collection, right? And uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm going to reward heavily those, uh, those 915 people that own my NFT, right? Uh, especially, you know, if we meet up and stuff like that and uh, or people message me and want to, uh, to uh, meet with me, they better own my NFT. Right to to get a guaranteed spot, right? So, alrighty. With that said, let's uh, let's go back to here and see 160. All right, close enough. Thank you, guys. Let's um, let's choose a question here from the group from this recently recent question. I see here. Alrighty, I don't see anything. Is Trading View free? Yes, it is free. Um, it's a freemium kind of thing where I mean, there's ads and stuff like that, so you can use it, but you won't have a full power of um, uh, Trading View and with the freemium. All right, um, Bear Trap. Um, uh, depends on where you. What do you want to define as Bear Trap? If if you say that uh, the bears are um, getting wiped here and pulled, rig pulled, yes, they got hurt. If you um, if you thought that this was going lower, the average Joe would probably would have um, gotten burned on this um, because they don't know how to trade. They don't know that this was clearly not going down, breaking down uh, because of the. Well, basically because of the indicate because it just the, the downward movements were sh more shallower and shallower each time, so it was a clear indication that things had reversal was in the pipe, and um, most um, non-professional people would not have seen that and um, would have felt that the that Bitcoin was going lower and either would have sold. Their bitcoins because they were afraid, or um, tried to short here, thinking it was going lower. That's that was a deadly trap for them. Um, but uh, this is not over yet. This that we have not seen. We this doesn't mean that we're going to go straight up to the moon. Right? We're not going to the moon here. Not uh, not. Unless, you know, the U.S. dollar collapses, even then, if the U.S. dollar collapses, this is a heavily managed asset now. Uh, even if the dollar collapses, Bitcoin is not mooning. Okay, just get that through your head. And you're like, what? <laughs> if you're, uh, yeah, exactly. Um, the, the, yeah, one of the things governments always resort to whenever they print there is, we have enough historical evidence, right, to, to know this, to be absolutely sure about this. So if you think that this is not the case, you're the one smoking weed, not me. Okay. <laughs> okay. So with that said, we have 100% evidence that, that the governments always resort to price controls 100% of the time. Right? They never, they never stop and go uh, stop the printing presses ever. There's never been a government in history that goes, you know what? We're going to act responsibly, right? We know we can't pay this debt. We know we can't pay it, and we're going to like, we're going to tighten our belts here. We're going to fire people from the government. We're going to like make sure that you know we're going to have to cut benefits from people from the public, and. You know, we're just gonna have to like pay our debts to the Chinese. <laughs> uh, that's 
that's that's that's laughable. <laughs> so with that said, right? Um, that's not likely, and thus um, the printing presses will run, and they have to control prices, and so they will control what they can control, and that is Bitcoin, Ethereum, gold, silver, right? Commodities on the commodities exchanges, right? They will control the prices the best they can on those assets. Um, they can't control it. They can only have they only have certain um, enough. They only have a certain amount of power on those these controls. Because uh, again, right? If they overdo it, right? There'll be shortages too much, too many shortages, and there will be. There will be shortages. They've done this before. This has happened before already with gold and silver. Um, and uh, yeah, um, this is what's going to happen with Bitcoin, right? Uh, one day the dollar might collapse, and uh, Bitcoin will hold, keep, uh, will might go up a little bit, but not go bananas. But everything else will go bananas. So, for example, you'll see. You'll see this chart just, and you see how that just went pumped right straight up. You'll see this same thing, but going down, right? Because uh, now that Bitcoin is rallying, right, um, it's pumping heavy against the alt. So yeah, we just bounced. This chart was like looking like we were going to drop. The bottom was going to drop out from from this um, the alts, and we we're going to see a massive, massive alt season. But nope, we bounced right off the lows. Jesus just like we broke the lows didn't we yeah we broke the lows indicating that we we're going to drill to the bottom was about to drop out and it didn't it just went reversal so this could be a, um you know uh this could be a failed move though and equals a fast move in the opposite direction this could go the opposite direction really really fast um assuming that is if the dollar collapses because that's they can't control everything so alt will just like explode uh, rapidly against uh, Bitcoin because Bitcoin is managed. Same with against Ethereum because Ethereum is also heavily managed against the US dollar. So um, expect both those two assets to not perform as well if the dollar, during the dollar collapse, if that occurs in the next little while, right? Because uh, there's, it's looking more and more likely to occur in the next uh, year or less, actually, more likely. And in in, if it does happen, it will happen in, if it does happen at all, it will happen in the next two months. Meaning today, this month, September or October is the most likely event or next year in this time, around this time frame. Or actually there's a smaller percentage chance that it could happen in March, but that's a small percentage. Okay, alrighty, let's uh, go on and take another question. Is there anyone here in asking questions? That's no one. What are your thoughts on Luna Classic? My thoughts on Luna Classic. Well, um, Luna Classic is still being traded uh, because it's probably on the decentralized exchange. It's just still there. It doesn't mean it's going to come back alive. Right? But people will um, speculate in it. Whilst it's whilst it's uh, whilst it could be, they could be beating, they're most likely beating a dead horse here. Um, yes, Luna Classic had uh, a nice pump recently. Right, we can see it right here. It's it's um, it's pumping heavily, but this is uh, just somebody probably beating the dead horse basically. Whilst everybody who 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 got like if we take a look at this on a longer time frame, let's see here. Is is there a way to look at this here? No. Okay, so. A lot of people left their Luna Classic and just dropped it, right? And so once people dropped it, they don't bother coming back looking at the price. And so somebody started buying up this Luna Classic, and they're not the people who who own a lot of this. Just, they're not. They're like whatever, it's dead, right? And so they're not interested in selling, and because it's not going to make any money, anyways, right? Even at these low price, even at these this. Let's see here, I'm off the bottom, right? Even a 10x or or um, or yeah, even a 10x off the bottom, so it goes to 400. It still doesn't give them a, um, a, a, a their money back off of this. So most of them have just dropped it. So this is why you're seeing this huge pump uh, on Luna, and it doesn't mean that this thing is sustainable. As soon as it gets to a certain height, those people will come into the market if they haven't sold. If they haven't like you know. 
uh, forgotten about and forgotten about it, right? And they still have it in their wallet and they haven't destroyed them. They're going to dump these things into the market to get something out of it. So expect that to happen because there was a lot of Luna Classic in the um, in the uh, economy. Okay. Um, next. 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 Because it sounds so soon, how does the dollar die exactly? How will the dollar die exactly? Interesting. Ah, well, you know, history uh, re d repeats, but it actually, it doesn't exactly repeat, it rhymes. Um, what, what it means is that although we know exactly generally what will happen and general terms right um this is a little bit of a bigger case because we've never had the whole world on a fiat standard never never in the history of mankind has every single nation on the planet been on this ponzi scheme fiat system that's just how it's been and so Right, because of that, right? This this time, it, things are gonna look a little different when we do collapse. And so, I would suggest, if you're interested in like um, pivoting really rapidly during this collapse, you can most likely see a um, uh, highest probability is to see your wealth increase, um, so you could hedge basically. You could hedge against, you know, the collapse as you take your your um, your cash because cash will be physical cash will have the advantage during the collapse. Will have an advantage during the collapse. There's the a ninety. I'm ninety nine percent positive that physical cash will have uh, advantage during the dollar collapse. Why is that? Because you're like, that's, that's not intuitive. That doesn't make any sense. If the dollar's collapsing, right? How's the cash going to give you... <laughs> right? <laughs> How's cash going to give you a chance to pivot? Well, what generally happens is that the banking system freezes everybody's assets um, during this process. And so everybody who has a bank account of money doesn't have access to that money. But everybody who has cash, they do. And since they will prevent those people who have bank accounts full of, full of money from taking out more than maybe 300 or 400 or whatever dollars a day, um, the people with cash, they'll be able to buy whatever they want, right? So for example, somebody who wants to, um, to, to, you know, they need to pivot too, right? And they can't get the cash to buy a bunch of Bitcoin, well, they'll sell their 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 uh, Rolex, their their um, their expensive cars, their painting, their for for cash, so that they can go and buy some Bitcoin uh, off the the OTC market. And so that is an example of why you'll see a huge huge uh, advantage with cash. Now you will need to have a network of people that will accept cash, but um, you, the odds are you will find somebody um, that will take the major cash off of you and uh, to give you something something at a really, 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 really discounted price, right? I don't know why there's a flea here, but anyways. Um, because that's because that's the, the cash will be king, right? And so on top of that, they won't, they, maybe they want to just buy stuff. They just want to buy more stuff than uh, than you really need to, or or the average person needs to, and there's they can't take out anything more than three hundred dollars, right? So that's where your cash will, you know, reign supreme, because there will be a bank holiday where the banks are closed, and it's probably going to close for a long time, like a week, and so those are that's when you will reign supreme, and then. And you can you could do this. You could hedge because you are holding cash, right? You're not really losing 
when you leave the cash under your mattress compared to if you're leaving it in a bank. Because how much interest are you getting in the bank? <laughs> so, so, yeah, there is, uh, you, do, there, you can never say that there's a sense of loss, right? If you're holding on to cash, uh, physical cash in your house, right? Uh, waiting for a collapse that may happen or this year or may not, right? Because there's no, there's no, um, there's no downside. There's zero downside for that. I mean, almost zero downside because you have to worry about somebody stealing it. So, alrighty. Uh, let's see here. Once again, um, so 300. This guy saying only 300k profit. No, dude. Um, it's, I'm, um, yeah, it's, it's up 104%, right? And that's not 300K profit. This is a 300K trade with a 30, like just over 33K, um, uh, profit approximately, 35K profit there. That's unrealized profit, right? Um, and yeah, we can see Bitcoin is trying to reach my target goal. I was figuring this thing had some room to run. Probably going to run to, um, because uh, there's a lot of uh, stop losses um, probably getting triggered from the shorts and stuff like that. People, shorts who felt that this thing was going down to, a lot of people who felt this thing was going to 10K this time around, they're getting wiped out. They're getting pulled right now. Um, so we're gonna see a big move right up to, to probably around this 21.7 and we could end up seeing something stupid, right? We could see a candle. Um, if we go push above the 2000, we'll see a candle, some crazy candle wick um, uh, closer to the 25K and then back down again rapidly, right? So um, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a crazy possibility that we could see. Um, in the price action, but no guarantees. I would not trade on that trade for that There is no way to trade for that event, right? There is no way to trade for that particular event unless you are an exchange and You have access to viewing everybody's position <laughs> That's the only way you can trade with that trade that so yeah, um so, uh, yeah, so consider that as a possibility. I'm trying, I'm actually trying thinking if there's any other way to trade a possible uh, liquid, what's it called, short squeeze. Uh, I can't think of any way to trade as for a short, trade a short squeeze because one, you're moving, you have to do, you have to do two things. One, be right that the short squeeze is gonna happen and two, uh, figure out your your take profits because this is going to happen very very fast so yeah that's those are two things you need to be able to do um if you want to trade a short squeeze but the short squeeze um is a possibility here because we're moving too rapidly and uh yeah i don't see a gap i wonder if we can see a gap anywhere That could be sweet. A gap. If we saw a gap somewhere. Um, is there gaps? Um, no, no gaps. We could have like did. So oh, wait a minute. There is a gap. This is a gap and go right there. But yeah, it's not. I was looking at for it to to do a measurement. And there's no other, this is like a gap and go, but I don't see it. We'd need to see a second gap somewhere along the way to give us a measuring gap. And there isn't in this, it would have to be in this next move, this big move here. So there isn't like a second uh, gap to give us a measuring gap. So I was looking for a measuring gap to give us uh, an indication of how high this thing can go. Uh, that's, that's not playing out. And, then, and again, this is not guaranteed. This is the likelihood that we, uh, it's a low probability that this thing blows to the, blows, blows up, I'm telling you. It's a low probability that Bitcoin blows up higher. Can it happen? Yes. Is, do you wanna bet on it? 
You should not. You should not. Because you have, well, put it this way, right? We're on the four hour, right? And if we have, if it's 95% of the time that it goes, it stays inside the band, right? You are betting on a 5% chance, basically, that we're going to continue outside the band, right? Like, and that's, that's just dumb. That is just ridiculous. Um, and I would not recommend that. Now, it's, is it possible? Yeah, I mean, we're looking good, looking good for that, for that to happen. It just, it, it's not really worth betting on. Okay, let's see if there's a question. I'm back in the group first. Hi, DaVinci. So, should we be on BTC now or on alt coins, alt coins? Well, uh, I mean, it's that's a good question. Um, Bitcoin's the safety factor. So, for example, if you want this to be safe and secure and feel that warm feeling, right? Um, Bitcoin would be the one you want to hold. Now, if you want to trade, you want to see if you can like uh, increase your your uh, your your chances of your wealth. Now, looking at the looking at this, right? Um, this chart, this looks like we were most likely going to roll over um, and head back down, but no guarantees. You can see we can we haven't. Um, oh, hang on, let me just uh, let me undo that. Let me take this one. You can see that this thing's broken out, but this is not. This is the day's not over yet, All right? So we are. We could see this thing just, just, just wick up and come back. And if that's the case, and we stay below this line, um, then it's a positive to to break down. But if we go sideways above the line, then yeah, we could end up going higher. That means that the alts could die. Um, this is a good a good probability. Things things are looking based on the the fundamentals in the in, in the market indicate alts should rally. The end of the fundamentals indicate that. This chart so far indicates that alts should just drop lower a price against Bitcoin. So that means they will rally as well. So you have both the the, the technical analysis and the fundamental analysis currently lining up for you so uh you can decide whether or not um alts based on that if you should go on alts and take the risk on alts because although these two um two uh indications show positive chance of you profiting um in the alts your next thing is well what alts do you buy And so, yes, there is a way to figure out which alts, but it's going to be a little bit of work in order to, to get this right and be able to, to get the both get this right. And then um, remember that although TA says one thing and the, and the fundamentals say, yes, we are going, we're going down, we're going higher for the alts and the alts are going to go and the same with the fundamentals. There is a probability that that becomes incorrect. So consider that and make sure you um, invest wisely so that you know you could always trade again tomorrow if things go wrong or things go awry should, um, you know, the, uh, the odds which are in your favor go against you. Okay. Uh, Dirty, which new blockchain you focusing now? Um, new blockchain. Well, um, I'm not focusing on any new blockchains per se. Um, but um, Valus is one blockchain I might be interested in looking into closely. 
Um, there is uh, other blockchains that are coming out that uh, people will go crazy over that I might uh, be interested. I forget which one it was called. Now somebody mentioned it to me and uh, now I can't remember the name um, off the top of my head, but I'm sure we will get it. Okay, I have to, I just realized the time. Wow, it's been an hour, almost an hour and um, I have to get going. So I have another uh, meeting in like uh, 10 minutes. And I want to answer this one question here. What do you think about Sheeb? Uh, Sheba. Well, Sheba will rise again. Um, it's just a matter of time. And it will do well eventually because it has a huge community following. And they're always developing and coming up with new um, solutions to um, you know, increase the value of Sheba. So don't, don't count it out just yet. What is the use case for Davitar? Well, the uh, use case for Davitar is to uh, you know, have access to, uh, to my, me and give people uh, a chance to meet with me and so forth. And also um, you know, join me on parties, right? Uh, join my friends and so forth and have a lot of fun. So make sure you own one if, you're, if you want to um, be a part of that. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, that's gonna be lots of fun. Okay, with that said, Thank you for uh, watching. Thank you for being here. Uh, I really appreciate everybody who comes and watches my show. Uh, it is, it's been a privilege and an honor to be part of YouTube and be in this, um, this cryptocurrency revolution because uh, Bitcoin's real, Bitcoin's here to stay, and you need to be a part of it. Everybody needs to be a part of it. Thanks again. Bye now.